<laughs> oh my God. 45 for a high today. Average high, whew, it's down there, down to 48. And that was with pretty much full sunshine. We only got into the mid 40s, 30s in the mountains. Hour by hour forecast tonight, it's going to be chilly. Showed you earlier that I think we'll get into the mid 20s along the coastline. Teens in Freiburg, Berlin, and Rangeley as well. This model has a very clear. Um, warm overnight low bias for some reason so take that into account but it's going to be chilly tomorrow morning we start tomorrow the first half of the day is very similar to today a lot of sunshine but by the afternoon from west to east clouds come in and most of us will be clouded up by about sunset or just a little bit uh, thereafter warm front has to come through tomorrow night that means a sprinkle or a sleet pellet as it comes through but by thursday morning that front will be located north of caribou which puts us in the warm sector for half a day, basically. Thursday afternoon over southern and western Maine especially looks quite mild. Mid 60s, maybe upper 60s if everything lines up right. Closer to 60 in Bangor and uh, 58, 59 in Waterville. That doesn't last long though. The warmth showers come through on Thursday night and some snow in the mountains. That's out of here Friday mid morning and we're in better shape Friday afternoon and really through the whole weekend. Once that warm front comes through and the trailing cold front, we've got high pressure in place for both Saturday and Sunday. I think Saturday is a little bit sunnier than Sunday, but it's not going to be a huge swing either way. Temperatures are in the 40s, seasonable, dry through the weekend. Wish we could continue that for early next week. Doesn't look likely. Before we get to that, let's talk about snowfall. Warm front will bring an inch or so across northern Maine. Cold front will bring an inch into the mountains, maybe two in the high terrain. And obviously along the coastline, we're just looking at rain showers coming through Thursday night and no uh, wintry precipitation. All right, so there's something out there next week. We talked about the, the large scale signals for storminess in the East Coast are all there. So the question in my mind is only, is the low inland? Is it on top of us? Is it offshore? I think those are the options. Offshore means snow. On top of us means a mess. <laughs> to the west of us means wind. And at this time, the European model has it right over us, which will give us some rain on Monday night and Tuesday, and then maybe some snow on Wednesday. I don't take that to the bank yet, but it's going to be messy, I think, early next week. Our chances to push this offshore are dwindling. Give it another day and see if it happens, but um, it looks like right now we're going to have to deal with it in some capacity for Monday and Tuesday. So that'll make Thanksgiving interesting, depending on how things yeah. play out. Have you guys seen this hashtag respect the bird? Have you seen this going around? No. It's like don't skip Thanksgiving in your holiday endeavors and like get too early into Christmas. Oh. oh. I kind of so like it. You're not a Thanksgiving person? No, I mean, I think right. it's fine. By the way, our producer's telling us to hurry up and okay, get to Okay, let's just go. <laughs> okay.